Ever since man first began setting out for new lands by small boats heading over unknown horizons, he has been searching for, among other things, paradise. And paradise in the Tuamotas, a small archipelago in the Pacific, about 200 miles northeast of Tahiti, means coconuts, digging clams, spearfishing, and camping on the beach with the surf lulling you to sleep. But paradise today is not without its concerns. The biggest worry here is global warming. The 78 atolls that make up the Tuamotas are just thin coral reefs. At their highest, they are 10 feet above sea level. As the average temperature of the oceans climb, estimates are that many of these living, breathing, still growing reefs and the lagoons they protect will very likely disappear in the next 50 to 100 years as the seas rise. Frank Murphy is a University of California Berkeley trained marine biologist. It struck me the other day when my children arrived from Tahiti and they saw an atoll for the first time that actually in their lifetime these could disappear. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Fishing is a primary source of both food and cash. Gerard will take a dozen big mahi-mahis from his plywood boat, which he'll sell on his island of Fakarava. Gathering and drying the white meat of coconut, known as copra, is the chain's biggest business. A 100-pound sack sells for $38. A hard-working family will produce 100 sacks a month. In the past 20 years, a new economy has boomed in the Tuamotas, black pearls. Pamela and Veldo are 22 and have their own pearl growing business on a tiny spit of sand in the middle of the lagoon at Toao. They have thousands of oysters strung just below the surface. Veldo takes daily care at the boxes of oysters, making sure they are closed tightly to protect them from their natural predators. Pamela works eight hour days, seeding as many as 400 oysters a day. Once planted below the surface, each oyster will nurture a pearl for a year and a half. Outsiders come looking for paradise and leave with many questions. Is it idyllic here? Certainly. Is it paradise? As close as you can come, a tropical dream come true. Yet it is clear these tiny spits of land in the midst of a giant sea of blue, paradise, are at some risk. These Westerners are happy to have seen a glimpse of paradise, since it may soon change forever. <laughs>